everyone. Welcome to Scratch Coding Ninja. Hey guys, um, sorry if it's been a while since I uploaded my last video. Today's video is going to be about cloning. So let's look what it is. Cloning is a feature that allows a sprite to create a copy of itself while the project is, project is running. So let's make our project. Our project in this case is going to be about Agario. So, first of all, what I want you to do is you, I want you to delete the scratch cut that you always see in the beginning. It's pretty annoying if you don't need it. The second thing is you just go to upload sprite. Oh, and also, I mean, you just download a sprite from the internet. I already got it myself. They should work. Any of them should work. And yeah. Here's your graph. So, we want to make this really, 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 really big. So we can just make it 1000. But it does not look really, 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 really big. No, it doesn't. It doesn't work. So this, this is the way that I'm going to be using to increase the size a ton. So what you want to do is you want to go to events when the flag is clicked. We want to make another costume for this, a plain costume. Uh, yeah. When green flags click, switch costume to costume one. Then what we want, what is this is gonna do is we want this to go to zero 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 zero. Now we're gonna make this set size to let's say a thousand. Yeah, a thousand. And then we're going to switch costume to graph paper. Now, as you can see, this graph paper is really, really big. That's what we want. So next, we want to paint a sprite, which is going to be our Agario thing. Just name it Agari... Agario. Now, I want this to be, in this case, green. And now, when you hold the shift button, and then you and then you can make a perfect circle. Uh, now we just say want this to be zero zero. I'll also write that in the command in case if it got misplaced by accident. So what you want to do is that Agario is a game where you, you have this little blob and then you want to eat all the food and uh, I guess stay alive for as long as you can. So, what we want to do is we want to make this graph thing moving. Uh, so, instead of having this right moving, we're going to have this graph moving. So, when green flag is clicked, we can't, we can't make it like uh, points towards mouse pointer. Move 10 steps and let's say it just happens forever. I mean, it's just, it's just gonna get crazy. Look. Wow, impressive. A tilting screen. That's, that, that does not make sense. So, yeah, let's just say point in direction 90. Yeah, so what we wanna do instead of this is we wanna have the X and Y changed by like change x and y position sort of like our table tennis thing but we can't do change x by just mouse x and change y by mouse x can't do that otherwise it's just gonna go lightning fast unless if you are a fan of sonic just like me so instead we what we want to do is you want to have now, um, we want to have an operator 
This time we want to multiply, but here we want to multiply by a negative number, otherwise it won't work. Uh, have this. Uh, yeah, right, uh, now you want to have your mouse x, mouse y multiplied by, let's say, the smallest number you can think of. I'm thinking of 0 0.05. 0.05 and all of this is going to be multiplied by negative 1 negative 1 so now this is moving however we want it also pretty steady not too fast now let's just change the size to 50 since it's a bit small yeah So now what we want to do is we want to go program this to stay like this forever. So when green flags click, set size to 50. And, oh, and also go to, yeah, this place. So yeah, it's, this is pretty easy. This is all working. So, so in Agario, you also have the eat the, the eating food part. So, what we want to do is you want to make another sprite, and we have red. In this case, you can make it any color you want. We're gonna let's say we make it blue. Uh, and. We make another blob, should be like this, should be good, uh, a bit smaller, yeah, mm. should be good. So, now we go, now we're gonna touch the cloning part, so when green flags click, we want this to make a clone every 0.1 second, so uh, wait point one seconds. Create a clone of myself. So every so often, a clone is gonna be made right on that spot where you see the right one. That's where you can't see the duplication. So. What we want to do is that all the clones listen to uh, when I start as a clone because the, like, um, only the the real mommy or daddy sprite or just the normal sprite listen to when green flags click. So when I start as a clone, we want this to be just put in a random position. That should be good. Go to a random position. Right, so here we have we have a bunch of clones, but this is move. This is uh, yeah. This is not moving with the background. That's because we want to copy this code from here, from graph paper to sprite one, which I'm gonna gonna name that food. Uh, so we can't. You can't copy it from between sprites because, yeah, I mean, you can't do it, un I mean, unless if you work on scratch too. So when I start as a clone, go to the random position. Forever. Multiplied. By multiplied. Zero point, uh negative 0 0.05 oh uh actually that was not that's not what i wanted to do 0 0.05 one uh mouse x uh yeah Change X by, change Y by. Hope you could see that. Uh, 
Oh, uh, yeah. Now, turns out I wrote the wrong thing. Negative one. Yeah, so now, as you can see, the agarios, the, the food thingies, are moving along with the background, except for one, which you see here, right next to it, the original one. So, what we want to do is we want to make, we want to hide this. So, first, so in order to do that, we just search, it looks, hide, put on the top, and when it, and when I start as a clone show, yeah, now you can see, now you can't see that original parent thingy, yeah, parents. Agario food. Oh, and yeah, it's spawning all the time. So, to make this look like. So, what we want to do is that now we want to look, make sure that the Agario is eating them instead of just floating underneath the food. So, what we're going to do is that we have a forever loop. Touching if touching food, then we want this to gr um, grow by let's say two. I mean, a lot of them has been being made, so it shouldn't be a big problem just having two. And yeah, also here. If touching Agario, if touching Agario, then we want to delete the clone. So we go to Control, delete this clone. All right, here, yeah, here. Now, uh, oh yeah, my mouse pointer. Now we have our Agario. So for some reason it's not gr growing and the reason why we're not gr it's not growing is because i got this this uh oh, what's this this doesn't the program doesn't have enough time to judge whether it's deleted the food the clone is deleted or or the agario ate it so what we want to do is we want to have a wait to get another another Wait for 0 0.1 seconds. Now this thing grows. And that even is way too much for this. So we could say only, we could say just change size by 1%. Now that is something good. You're yeah, having a lot of food. So yeah, that's basically what Agario is. Simple, pretty fun. So I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and bye bye. Thank you for watching my video. If you have any questions, please write them down in the comment section below. If you liked the video, please click like subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you can get notified when I upload my next video.